back to my channel. If you're new here, then I'm Baby Liv and welcome to my channel. But today for you guys, I wanted to create this look. The inspiration from this look for today came from this arm art creation right here. And her name is Gabrielle, so it's G-A-B double X R I E double L E and you can find her on Instagram and Twitter and she does these amazing arm arts I've never personally tried them before but I saw this and I was like you know what I'm gonna try that on my eyeballs so that's what I did for you guys today so if you're interested in learning on how to recreate this look then go ahead and keep on watching all right, you guys, so I'm going to take this hot pink color from the Morphe 35B palette, and I'm just going to go in with an E22 brush from Morphe, and I'm just going to slowly start to add that color into my crease, and I'm just going to continue um, adding until I'm satisfied with the pigmentation from it. So, yeah, I'm just going to go in and blend that for now. Alright, so next I'm going to be taking my Manny MUA palette from Makeup Geek and I'm going to be taking this pretty, super pretty red shade which is called Mars and I'm going to be going in with a Morphe Y18 brush and I'm just going to start packing that onto the lid on the outer corner and make some sort of a V shape and then slowly begin to start flicking it out to create some sort of a wing effect. Not too dramatic but some sort of subtle wing effect with the shadow. And then I'm going to just slowly blend that in and then I'm going to go and pack it in on the inner corner because I'm going to do a halo eye effect with this look. So yeah, and then I'm going to slowly start to blend that all together. Then I'm going to go in with a Morphe G17, which is just a clean blending brush that I had. And I'm going to use that to blend the red and the pink together, just so we can have a nice, smooth transition between the two colors. The next thing I'm going to be going in with this violet color from the bottom of the palette. And I'm going to be taking that with a Morphe, I believe, G18 brush. And I'm just going to be taking that and really focusing that on the outer V. And also using this brush to help create more of that wing effect with the shadow that I'm going for. Next, I'm going to be taking a loose eyeshadow pigment from Star Crush Minerals in the shade Maroon Matte. And I'm going to be taking that and going in with a Morphe E17 brush. And I'm going to start by packing that on the outer corner and then slowly blending that in. And as you can see, I'm still slowly trying to create this wing effect with all the additional colors that I do begin adding in. Then I'm going back with that Morphe G18 brush just to help blend out the previous color that I had with this new maroon color. Then next I'm going to be taking this deep purple color from the palette and I'm going to be taking that with a E300 brush from Mikasa Beauty and I'm just going to try to deepen that crease color just a little bit more because in the picture it was it was kind of dark. Then without dipping my brush into the palette again, I'm just going to take and add some red onto that part of the lid. And then I'm going to take Insomnia for my Manny MUA palette once again. And I'm going to go in with a G10 brush. I'm just going to start packing that onto the center of my lid. Then I'm just going to be going in with my white liner from Kat Von D and I'm just going to create this white line at the beginning and take it about 
two thirds into the lid and just give it kind of that graphic effect that she had added onto her look. Then next back to the Morphe 35B palette, I'm going to be taking a Morphe MB26 brush and I'm basically just going to be applying that blue pigment onto the white liner while it was still kind of wet just because I didn't have a blue liner to do this look so you know girl sometimes you got to just work with what you got. Then onto the face, I'm going to be taking my LA Girl Pro Prep HD Primer and I'm just going to be taking that and applying that all over my face. The next I'm going to be taking my LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation in the shade Natural and I basically just applied two pumps to the back of my hand and then started to begin spreading that out all throughout my face. And then I'm going to be going in with my Lemon Drop Sponge from Mikasa Beauty and I'm just going to be taking that and applying my foundation. Then next I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm in the shade Sand and I'm just going to be taking that on my under eye area and then just in any other areas that I'm going to want to highlight. You guys, and I love this little sponge just for the little ridge it has in the middle because I feel like for my nose contour it's easy to just like roll it up and down my nose. Then after I'm done blending out my concealer, I'm basically just going to set my under eyes with my RCMA powder and then set the rest of my face with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and contour as I normally do. Then I'm going in with Milani's Luminoso with the Morphe MB35 and then next I'm going to be taking this first shade from the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 palette which is called Daylight I believe and I'm just going to go in and start highlighting. And of course, as you already may know, I'm going in with my Morphe M501 brush, which is my favorite, absolute favorite highlighting brush at the moment. And it has been for some time now. <laughs> Then I'm going to spritz my entire face with MAC Fix Plus just to melt all of those products together. Then I'm just going to be going in and doing my lower lash line. You know the drill, just the same steps you did to the top. Then I'm actually going to start to drag it out just a little bit further underneath the wing and a little bit further out. Just because with this look, the shadow is brought out just a bit. Then I'm taking my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer and I'm basically just going to be using that to create the little triangle that she has on the bottom of her eye and I'm just going to be going in with an angled brush that I have from Morphe and creating that triangle shape underneath my eye. And this is just going to act as a base for the shadow. Then I'm just going to take Luna from the Manny MUA palette from Makeup Geek and I'm just going to start packing that on with a Morphe MB16 brush. Then from that same palette, I'm just going to be taking Artemise and I'm going to be taking that with just a large shadow brush that I have and applying that to my brow bone area just because this sparkle was emphasized in her look. Then one last time with the G17 and just blend. Alright you guys, and this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. 
and leave some comments down below for me and don't forget that you can follow me on all my other social medias which is snapchat instagram and twitter and all of those are going to be linked down below as always and until next time guys bye